Hi all, hope you've had a blessed day today. Today I'd like to talk about 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 2. There is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. Hannah prayed year after year for a child. She wanted a child more than anything in the world. But she wasn't able to conceive. And for that, she was made fun of, she was teased, she was tormented. And most of all, she was heartbroken. There are plenty of us out there who've been in her shoes, who felt the way she felt. Wanting something so bad and not getting it. There are so many people out there today who, pray, who are praying for things that they want. A marriage, a family, a promotion, to be close with people that, that are in their neighborhood that they just moved into. Maybe to make up with someone who they're having a rift with. While you're feeling lost and alone, you're walking around your neighborhood, walking around the neighborhood store, the park, and you see other people and they look like they're so happy and they have everything they ever want. And then you look at yourself and you say, wow, why am I so alone? Yeah. After years of waiting, God finally answered Hannah's prayer. And because of that, she was filled with wonder and worship. And it's actually, in this verse, these are her words. There is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. Even though she suffered for years, Hannah knew no one can take the place of God. There is no one else who can create something from nothing. There is no one else to build our faith on. No one else sees the worst side of us and still loves us anyway. No one else can be trusted with our dreams, our hopes, our desires. No one else can guide and comfort us, especially when you feel lost and alone. That's because God is holy and God is always good. The best part about it is that he's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. There is no one else in your life that is more worthy and deserving of your trust, your respect, and your love. God bless you all.